Hi everyone, welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plates where I cook for you, do grocery hauls, what's for dinner segments, and also desserts. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, everyone, I hope I inspire you today, so let's get started. Okay, everyone, so tonight I am making Monte Cristo sliders for what's for dinner. Now, I'm also going to be making some tater tots and waffle fries that I found in my freezer, so those will be a perfect pairing for this to make this a quick and easy meal tonight. So you're going to need a pack of slider rolls. Now I'm using the King Hawaiian Sweet Rolls, the original. Now you're also going to need some turkey, which I got right here, and some ham, and then you need some baby Swiss cheese, sliced. And I'm also going to be using some Dijon mustard. Now I've got some strawberry preserves here. Now I know true Monte Cristo people use raspberry, but I'm allergic to raspberry so I can't use it in the house. But So we're going to use strawberry, which is really good anyway. One egg, some butter, and then powdered sugar. You've got to top those Monte Cristos off, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to take out my Hawaiian rolls here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just slather some Dijon mustard over the bottom of my rolls, and then I'm going to layer some ham, turkey, and Swiss cheese on the tops of the mustard. So what I'm going to do now is place the whole thing <laughs> into my baking dish here. Now all I've done was just line it with some parchment paper or you can lightly spray your baking dish. Okay, so I've got about six tablespoons of butter that I have melted and I just melted it in my microwave. I'm going to go ahead, I have one beaten egg here that I'm going to pour into the melted butter. I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to brush all of the rolls with this melted butter egg mixture. Okay, I'm just going to put some tin foil over the top of it. Very lightly, just make a tent with it, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven. That's been preheating at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna pull them out, take off the tin foil, put them back in for another 10 minutes. All right, so I've just pulled them out of the oven. Now, I like that I use parchment paper right here because it's so easy just to pull them out of my baking dish. And then I can just put them on my cutting board. And it'll make for easy cutting. Oh, look at that, right there. There we go, let's go plate these up. Okay, here's what's for dinner. I made Monte Cristo sliders. Put some powdered sugar over it because that's the way they go, right? Got some jelly on the side pickle on the other side, and then I got some tater tots and some waffle fries. Hi everyone, welcome to another day of what's for dinner. It's actually morning time because I'm going to put all of this into my crock pot and let it cook all day long. So I'm going to be making chicken and dumplings. Now the biscuits will come later and I'll show you that after this chicken is done. 
So I'm going to be using this box of chicken broth, about three cups of it, two cans of cream of chicken soup, and then all you need is the seasonings. And you're looking for a poultry seasoning, and there's a jar that you can get that's poultry seasoning, or you can just kind of put your own in there. And I'm going to be using parsley, cracked black pepper, got some sage, rosemary, thyme, a little bit of nutmeg, and some marjoram. So all of that's going to go into the crock pot. I'm going to give it a good stir. And then we're going to add the chicken. And I have about two pounds of chicken breast here that I'm going to put into. All right, well, let's get going. submerge the chicken in place our lid on it and that's it y'all I'm gonna put it down on low for about seven to eight hours and it should be done this afternoon when I'm gonna finish it off with my last step we have about 30 minutes left on the crock pot I'm gonna get my husband starting on the green beans that we're going to be cooking in the instant pot right there so it'll be really fast to make so he's gonna take this pack, 16 ounces, one pound of these green beans. He's gonna rinse them off, chop off the ends, and then we're gonna put them in the Instant Pot with some cooked bacon. I'm just gonna fry up the last pieces of bacon we have right there. We'll just crumble it up into the green beans. And then we're gonna add some chicken broth for some liquid, a little butter, salt, and pepper for some flavorings. All right, so we're on it. All right. We've just put in about one cup of chicken broth into the Instant Pot with our beans. We're going to put a few pats of butter. My husband's working on that right now. That looks good. And then he's just going to add some salt and pepper in there. And then we're finishing off the bacon. We're going to crumble that and put that in there also. All right, y'all, I'm going to put my lid on it. I'm going to put it on manual high pressure for eight minutes, and then we're going to let it do a natural release. So we'll be back. Oh, my goodness. Look at those beans in there, y'all. Let me stir those up for you. Oh. Oh, look at that. Mm. See how simple that was? Oh, it smells amazing in there. All right. Husband will be happy. Look at how good that is. I've just shredded all of my chicken inside the, the chicken and dumplings recipe here in the crock pot. And now I'm going to go ahead and open this can of biscuits. It's just some grams, flaky layers. So I'm going to take one of my biscuit doughs. I'm just going to use my rolling pin here, roll it out a little bit so we can thin it out. I'm just going to take my knife, cut these. And then I'm just going to place them into my crock pot. All right, go ahead and use a spoon and kind of stir that up and kind of push those, push those down a little bit. There you go. All right, so we've stirred it all up. Now we're going to put a lid on it and it's on high right now and we're going to check it in about 30 to 45 minutes and that should finish it up. Okay, look at those dumplings in there. 
All right, that is my chicken and dumplings in the crock pot. Oh my gosh, look at the chicken. Look at that. Okay, that is what's for dinner. Crock pot, chicken and dumplings. And then instant pot, green beans and bacon. All right, welcome to another night of what's for dinner. Tonight we are having Euros. So these are Trader Joe's Euros. So we're going to be taking these Euro slices. These are pre-cooked and we're going to be heating them up. And we're going to put them into some pita pockets. That we've got right here. And then we're going to load them with tomatoes. Want to hold that up for them? Tomatoes, onions, we got cucumbers, some lettuce, and olives. Which are very good. Yeah, I guess he's eating them over there. And then we've also got a tzatziki sauce that we picked up from Trader Joe's. Now, I have a homemade tzatziki sauce recipe that I'll link down below in the description box if you want to take a look at that one. And then we have a garlic spread. It's, it tastes almost like a hummus with a little garlic flavor, so it's really good. <laughs> Man, that's garlicky. Alright, so while I get him started heating up the euros, then I'm going to run a little clip here of how I made my Greek pasta salad that we're going to eat with that. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is cut up our squash and zucchini. I'm just going to cut off the ends, cut it in half, and then cut those into quarters. And if they're really big, cut those again. We want these all to roast at the same size so and evenly. Let me put these in here. All right so I've got my oven preheating at 450 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and place some olive oil over my veggies here. See my oven's all done. I'm going to crack some salt. Crack some pepper. And then I'm going to put some oregano. Alright, these are going to go in the oven for about 8 minutes to 15 minutes depending on the softness that you want for your vegetables. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with a red onion. Just going to cut off the ends. Roast these the same time as the squash and the zucchini. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and make the dressing for my Greek pasta salad. You're going to need one cup of olive oil, and some apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup, about half a tablespoon of minced garlic. Put some oregano, some thyme, we all need some thyme, salt, pepper, a squeeze, some lemon juice in there. I'm just going to get a whisk and whisk this all together. Good. A little bit more salt. Alright, 
so I have my roasted vegetables in my bowl here. I just chopped them up as it came out of the oven. My squash, zucchini, and red onions. I'm going to go ahead now and add my pasta. I'm going to add my dressing. And then we're going to give that a nice stir. Alright, so it says to go ahead and get your pan nice and hot before you put the gyro slices on there. So I've got my husband Thomas breaking them apart and getting ready to put them on the pan. I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, because they'll break apart. These will sit on here for 20 seconds per side. I think, let's see. Yep, 20 seconds per side. Alright, that is what's for dinner. Now we're going to have him try it. What do you think? It's really good. Is it really good? Mm hmm That tzatziki sauce is really good. How about the meat? Is it tender? The meat's tender, well seasoned. Alright, can we give the pasta salad a try? Mm. <clears throat> really good. It's acidic, seasoned well. Veggies are cooked good, soft. Excellent. All right, there you go. That's what's for dinner. All right, what's for dinner tonight? This is a chili cheese rice casserole. Now, this was in collaboration with the channel Life of a meal wife. And what we did was we took our family favorite recipes and passed it on to each other. I did hers and they did mine. Now this is a chili cheese rice casserole and then they did my sausage stuffed peppers. Alright so go check out my channel and go check out Life of a Meal Wife's channel for complete full recipes. Alright I'm going to run through it really quick here for the chili cheese rice casserole. I'm sauteing celery, peppers, and onions. I'm going to be adding ground beef, browning that up into there. Then I'm going to be adding some seasonings, garlic, curry, salt, and pepper. Then I've got some diced tomatoes going in. Baked beans. All right, you can use kidney beans or black beans if you'd like. I'm going to be simmering this down for about 10 to 15 minutes. Mmm, looks delicious. All right, I'm going to be adding one cup of minute rice and let that cook down for about five minutes and that will help thicken up this casserole. Which I'm going to be using a 9 by 13 baking dish where I'm going to ladle in about half of that mixture. Y'all, it smelled amazing. With that curry in there, mmm. All right, I'm adding about one pound of shredded cheddar cheese on top. This was freshly grated by me. <laughs> All right, another, well, actually, I'm putting the rest of that meat mixture on top of the cheese here. And then I'm putting another one pound of cheddar cheese on the top there. I'm going to bake this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes till it's golden brown and bubbly. Look at that, y'all. I let it rest for about 10 minutes before I started digging into this. Mm -mm -mm. That was so good. All right, y'all, I'm going to show you what they use as an, a utensil to eat this with. Tostadas. There you go. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, for my full video, go check it out on my channel. Chili cheese rice casserole. Go check out theirs also using the sausage stuffed peppers. Life of a mill life. Life of a mill wife. All right, y'all. That's what's for dinner. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for my What's for Dinner week. I hope I inspired you with one of my dishes. Let me know down in the comments. 
All right, so give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. I will see you on my next episode.